Like, she got me basically to where I am. Nothing else. I just feel like that. If it wasn't for her, God knows why I'd scream that. I wouldn't be here telling you that for sure. I wouldn't be filming myself. God knows if I'd be alive. Yeah, so I got better, like, till the age of, I think I was better till the age of 15. I, obviously, I've been in counselling my whole life, like, I'm still seeing camps to this day. Um, I started it when I was, like, when I first got my mental wishes, when I didn't want to leave the house. I saw a, count, a, a psychologist think she was when I was little, and then I saw another one, and then I saw a counsellor at school. And now I'm under camps. So I think up to the age of 15, I was away. Like, I had a few attempts to commit suicide. I think I had one when I was five. I tried to put a carrier bag over my head, clever me, because I didn't realise they were holding it. So when I was five, I did that. When I was eight, I tried jumping up the landing. When I was ten, I tried jumping out a window. <laughs> when I was, I think, well, I tried jumping out a window again. Oh, yeah, and again at 12, I tried to get run over by car. Also at 12, I got a knife out of cover and tried to stab myself. But then, I stopped for a few years and then I think it's in my uncle like passed away and I really don't like talking about this so yeah since he's no longer with us no no shut up hmm. I was born at 
and that's what I want to commit suicide because of my terrible policy. So eventually I calmed down. I didn't eat anything that day because me being me, I thought I could starve myself. My toes are really blue. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. So that happened. I got put on some meds a few about five months ago, which helped, but I was on a really small dose. So I eventually, it didn't do much, and then I got bad again. I, one day I was really bad. I didn't go into college that morning, but I've had worse days where I didn't go in at all. But that day I went in later, and I, we were rehearsing for the spring show, which didn't really happen because of Corona. So we were rehearsing for that. And my director, she directed my morning help. Now like she knows me really well. Like she could tell I weren't that great that day. So she sat on me because I think I was punching myself or something. So they got her to sit on me. So we chatted for a bit. And then I joined in and then I felt better. So yeah, that was that day. Um so yeah, I think that's it really. That's all my mental health issues in a nutshell. Oh yeah, apparently, but I'm not sure on this one. At the age between 13 and 14, or 12 and 14, I started having seizures and I got well, they weren't epileptic, but I got told they psychological, but I don't think they were psychological because I saw someone else have the exact same seizure and it something completely different related. So, yeah, we still don't know what caused my seizures. Yeah, but yeah, my seizures, and I do have panic attacks, which I had a minor one before I filmed this, because obviously what I'm talking about is panic attack um, thing, so yeah. And my next screen shaking the whole way through this video. So yeah, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. So yeah. Hope you hope this video helped you in some way. Like if you're going through like the same as I went through and still going through or if you know someone who's going through this I hope it helped you get an idea about what it can be like living like that or if you don't know anyone or you don't have it then I hope I like let you in to like I'm not just all smiles and like uh, the girl you see on camera like I'm not always like that but 
At the minute, I try to be like happy, but sometimes it's hard to be happy with cerebral palsy. I get very annoyed with myself quite often, but yeah, I just have to hope it not helps you out with stuff when we're talking about stuff and um, yeah hope you give it a big thumbs up to, to, to show some support like on the well and hit that big red subscribe button to get not the and hit that bell to get notified for when I post a new video See, after that talk, I can't get my words out now because, like, I can't. So, yeah, please subscribe after that talk and please give it a thumbs up to show support for mental health. And, yeah, see you soon. And hopefully my next video will be a bit more cheerful. So yeah, bye!